Hey guys, RC here. And today I just want to share with you guys how to create a simple uh, integration between ClickFunnels and what I use as my email software is uh, ActiveCampaign. So if you're here to just pretty much uh, connect the email opt-in form from uh, Active Campaign into ClickFunnels, and you're not, you know, really trying to sell a product uh, in between the the landing page and the thank you page, then this is a the way to just capture emails. So, you know, if, as you see here, I got the name, email address, something very, very simple. Uh, I just created this as like a test, and pretty much, I the only reason I also use Active Campaign is. I mean, there's a lot of great softwares out there. I just like the, how simple the back end is. And I just also like how the support, they're pretty responsive. So there's a lot of good email softwares out there, email marketing softwares. I just prefer uh, Active Campaign. Uh, a buddy of mine, he referred it over to me and I was like, okay, it's no brainer. Learn the simple ins and outs of it. So let's go ahead. Well, I usually go right here. I start off with Active Campaign. Let's create the form. I go to the forms tab. And then right above it is the list. So before we get started, you can also create a list and this is gonna help the trigger. And I'll show you guys uh, what it is. So I'll just put YouTube demo. And see, this is where you have the trigger or the action step. So what's the action that it's gonna take in order for us to really subscribe into this uh, funnel, right? So I already created one that said YouTube test demo. And you can also add more actions. You can either do the tag or the email results. Let's say for example, they click on a link boom, it'll send them uh, to this as well. So I'll just click that out. We'll go into YouTube test demo, create this. And this is simple, right? Simple form. If you guys look at my page, I mean, I just did first name, email address. So full name, email, you can add, add different things, just drag and drop, boom, customize it to how you, how you want it. And there's just a few things that you need to get done. First off, I just hit here. It's our opt-in confirmation. Uh, so I usually just turn that off, click save. I'll go ahead and check this out. And then also you go up here and you hit open URL. So on submit, this is a trigger for uh, active campaign on submit. It's going to open a URL. So as soon as they submit it and it triggers that, I'll go back into my funnel. I'll go to my thank you page. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this URL right here. Boom. So I'll go straight to that that thank you page once it's done. Cool. So I'll go ahead, I'll integrate this and then it hits, we'll hit it there. And what I wanted to do first, before I get into that, uh, my opt-in, I'll just let that load. I copy and paste that uh, link here. So as you guys can see, uh, let me just delete this one. I'll copy and paste into my notepad. Usually use notepad or Evernote, whichever uh, tool you like. And then I hit, I just scrolled a little bit down from the top. I hit the form, top of the form tab. And then there's another one. You'll see right here, boom, form. So I copy and paste this form tab. This is all we need. Bam. And then right here, settings to integrations, right? So I'll hit integrations and I actually had a different integration on here. So I'll just, I just removed it. You guys can see that. And right here, it says null HTML form. So before, if this isn't showing up your null HTML form, make sure that you integrate your active campaign to your click funnels. And you can just go back into your settings on the main back office for click funnels and hit all the integrations. So make sure that active campaign is integrated with your click funnels and I'll hit there. Boom. Hit the click funnels form or hit the, hit the form, here's the action. So I integrate an existing form that I have and that's where we would copy and paste uh, this that we got from the notepad, right? So top of the form, bottom of the form, parse and save web form, I click that. As you can see, it's connected, which is a good sign. And then I just gotta go ahead and match up because these aren't gonna be synced. So I match up the name and this is how it reads it on the back end when active cam form, or active campaign uh, receives the form from ClickFunnels, it'll go ahead and organize it for you on the back end. So here's a name, here's the email. I'll just click out and then I always want to save. Make sure you always save this. So after it's done saving, I'll go ahead and go ahead and hit preview. Let's go ahead and put our stuff in, our sum in. It's my Gmail. 
And then I'll go ahead and I'll start my free trial. Click. So this is what the customers would see. And boom, your guide is on its way. So let's go back into our form. I'll save and exit this. And yep, it is, it is all set. So we got the information, boom. And then you can also, we can teach more about how to like set up a trigger so they would receive an email. Uh, but this is how you go ahead and uh, integrate both your ClickFunnels to your active campaign form. So you guys can go ahead and just start uh, grabbing emails because emails are important. It's what's going to, you know, really help you and uh, whatever company you're helping or your current company generate revenue for the long term. And there's ways to really leverage email. I think uh, capturing emails is powerful. So quick video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, take care.